What's up, 31 fam? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31, hosted by your punk rock dad. Good to be back. Took a few days to myself. Um, yeah, I got to reward myself with my... I, do, I put a lot of hard work into this stuff, so sometimes I just got to take a couple days to chill, even though I didn't really actually chill. Man, I got a lot of work done. Did some brainstorming, got some things written down. Uh, got some new stuff coming to the channel. Um, yeah, man, we're going to be doing some fast food reviews and if you know me it's not going to just be typical fast food reviews so be ready for that we're going to start next week i think i'm going to try to go film one or two of them next week and just kind of see how it goes and then i've got uh some like hip-hop snitch jail type stuff coming and i'm going to start with one called my take on jake i'm going to do a 1090 jake reaction because there's a video that i want to talk to y'all about so we'll just uh we'll leave it at that for now my kids are crying if you can't hear them if you do i'm sorry uh Try to get that not caught on the mic, but you never know, man. They're all hanging out playing. They're, they're fine. He's in his playpen right now. He's there's nothing wrong with him. I just checked him, but checked on him rather. But uh, you know how it is, man. It takes me about 10, 12 minutes to do one of these videos, so I gotta do a video, <laughs> run out there, mess with the kids for a few minutes. All right, everybody, good. Run back in here, do a video, go back out there, mess with the kids a little bit. So I get like in the amount of time I can do like seven or eight videos, I get like one or two done. So life of a father, it is what it is. I love my kids more than I love my channel, so. And you know how much I love you guys. So what does I tell you about how much I love them little kiddos, huh? Being a dad's the best thing in the world. And, uh, hey, I love you too. And you know that. So holler at me if you need some help with something, man. We'll talk it out, figure out something, and we'll get you a game plan going. And there's a few of you that have hit me up on Instagram that I haven't got back to yet. I ain't forget. I just haven't got to it yet. I'll do it today. I promise. All right, Earl Sweatshirt. Chum. Lyric video. I don't know much about Earl Sweatshirt, but I like what I've heard. And I'll, I, I, Isn't he part of... Uh, Tyler the Creator's click, uh, what is it, uh, Odd Future? I don't know, whatever, let's just, let's, let's, let's listen to the song. <laughs> Something sinister to it, pendulum swinging slower, degenerate moving through the city with criminal stealth, welcome to enemy turf, hard. Yo, it sounds like Tyler the Creator, but I mean, they homie, so it wouldn't surprise me that they sound similar, because they're going to have similar vernacular words and, like, slang and uh even a, a similar uh uh what's it called when you talk like somebody you uh, bro anyways y'all know what i mean immigrants work golf is just in my shirt get up off the pavement brush the dirt up off my psyche 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 Probably been 12 years since my father left. Mm. Left me fatherless. And I just used to say I hate him in dishonest chest. When honestly I miss this nigga like when I was six. And every time I got the chance to say it, I would swallow it sick. My dad died when I was 16. But he left the house when I was five. And uh, I don't know why this happened, but I remember it very vividly. I was like at my friend's house with my mom. And like the phone rang and for whatever reason, I was like, dude, I was five or six. I picked up the phone. I was like, hello. <laughs> My dad's like, Randy. And I was like, hey, dad. And we talked for a minute. And he told me that he was at some work thing. And it was, he was be home in like, I think, I think he either said three or six weeks, but like it wasn't long. So I was all excited. And I gave the phone to my mom and he never showed back up. I don't think I saw him for like a year after that. But, uh, this is why I take care of my kids the way I do. I'm not doing that to them, man. That's, that's messed up, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. I love, I miss my dad. I love him. But. Never would I treat my kids like that, bro. I wouldn't treat my wife like that. She'd have to, like, cut off my leg or something, and then I would just make her buy me a new one. I don't make her, but I'd ask her real nicely. I can't make her do anything. I don't own her. Man, it'd be nice if I owned her, right? Ooh, that sounded bad. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh! Man, people are going to get mad about that one, aren't they? Oh, well. They're going to get mad because they don't know who I am. Only people that would get mad about that is people that don't know me. Because if they watched one of my live streams with my wife, they'd understand how much I'm wrapped around her little pinky. I'm hollowing tolerance, skip shots of storm. That whole bottle, I show you a role model. Drunk pissy pissing on somebody front lawn, trying to figure out how and when the fuck I miss moderate. Mama often was offering peace, offering stink. Weeds cough, scoffing, and he's off again. Searching for a big brother, Tyler was that. And plus, he like how I rap. The blunt and mice the trap. Too black for the white kids and too white for the blacks. From on the road to cracking locks up off them bicycle racks. Yo, I know so many kids like that, bro. I was kind of like that. Like, I liked hip-hop and stuff too much for, like, the punk kids. 
and I was way too punk rock for all the hip hop kids in my school. So I, when I moved to Third Ward, like people really just kind of opened their arms and accepted me because I was down for some grimy shit. But like, uh, it wasn't until I was like 17, man, where people really started not caring about that stuff because I understand. I understand what that's like. That's that's. Whew. I'm indecisive. I'm scatterbrained and I'm frightened. It's seven and then I'm eyes way hiding all the bicycles at. Something sinister to it. The pendulum swinging slow, a degenerate moving through the city with criminal stealth. Welcome to enemy turf, harder than immigrants work. Golf is just in my shirt. Get up off the pavement, brush the dirt up off my psyche. Psyche, psyche. Yo, what album is this on? I want to find the LP and buy it. This is awesome. I, this song's amazing. Bars riding hearts, bottomless pit was mobbing deep as 96 havoc and prodigy did. We would a potty mouth posse crash the party and dip with all belongings to toss them out to the audience. Nothing. Yo, uh, I used to crash parties and do wild man. Hold up, we have to have a story time segment that's like a weekly thing or something, bro. Because I'm telling you, y'all wouldn't even believe the stuff I did. It was fucking awesome trying to make it from the bottom. It says, feeling as hard as Vince Carter's knee cartilages. Supreme garment and we garden with his garnish and splits with Keith particles and entering apartments with seen article tolerance for boundaries. I know you happy now, craving any complex fuck niggas that track me down just to be the guys that did it. Like, I like attention, not the type uh. where niggas trying to get a raise at my expense. I'm supposed to be grateful, right? Like, thanks so much, you made my life harder. And the ties between my mom and dad strained and tightened even more than they were before all of this shit. Yo, bars, son. Uh. Has No Life Shaq done this song, man? Because I want to know what he says about this. That's No Life Overreact over there, fool. I do cool, though, man. He's the whole reason I started doing this. I'm going to talk my shit, though, because ain't nobody perfect. I'm not perfect either. I'm, I guarantee you if you saw my videos, he'd be like, that dude corny. He fat. Whatever. And I'd be like, all right, cool. Whatever. What's up, dude? <laughs> like, I don't care, man. Back a week and I already feel like calling it quiz. Something sinister to it. Pendulum swinging slow, a degenerate moving through the city with criminal stealth. Welcome to enemy turf, harder than immigrants work. Golf is just in my shirt. Get up off the pavement, brush the dirt up off my psyche. Psyche, psyche. Yo. Yo, uh, shout out to, uh, Liberty and Justice. Band from Houston, man. That boy said harder than immigrants work. Uh, I love those boys. Those, those are my people right there. Anyways, they know why I would shout them out, but that it just reminded me of them. Uh, yo, if y'all ain't heard uh, Liberty and Justice from Houston, Texas, man, go check them out. They're harder than immigrants work. I promise. Yo, is that rain? Man, I got stuff to do outside today. I got some new shelving for this man. Whatever, it don't matter. Y'all don't care about that. Anyways, I used to apologize for telling my stories, but I no longer care because I figured it out, man. A lot of people like hearing my stories. And if you don't like hearing my stories, kick rocks, man. Go to another channel. I don't care. Because uh, we're going to do this damn thing over here. We're, we're going to... This is going to be crazy, man. I got plans, and if even one of my things that I want to do works, then we're going to be all right. I don't never plan on having, like, riches and stuff like that. But, like, I want to get paid for my hard work, and I think well, that'll happen. So, ooh, that is rain. That sucks. Uh, well, anyways, look, I got to get other things done. I got to hang out with the kiddos for a little bit. So I will see y'all real soon. I love you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Take care of yourself. And be kind to everyone else. All right. It ain't that hard, man. We'll see you soon. Peace.